Vice President Bayer Jadio has put to rest speculations that the country might be going to early general and regional elections. At his recent press conference on Thursday, Mr. Jadio said the 2025 national elections will take place in the last quarter of 2025. Elections are constitutionally due here next year, but opposition political parties have been speculating that the government appears to be setting the stage for early elections. Mr. Jardio said there are no such plans. Elections are going to be held towards the end of next. It is October or November 2025, so all of those, like Nigel Hughes who I heard saying there will be early elections is just a bunch of nonsense, Jardio declared. According to the vice president, the government's intensified public outreach efforts are not an indication of early elections, but represent a move to make the government more accessible to the people. Both PNC leader Aubrey Norton and AFC leader Nigel Hughes have said that they have suspected that government might call early elections. Both parties have also renewed their calls for a clean voters list. But the vice president said he is not too bothered over the concerns raised about the voters list, stating that the political opposition will always have concerns over some issue prior and after the elections. He stated that the same list GEC Oham is using now is the same list used for the 2015 elections. According to the vice president, a among the things he believes is needed for a free and fair elections next year is the production of a manual long before the elections of all the officers who will be part of the conduct of the elections with their roles clearly defined. He said the government has already started to meet with observer groups and other organizations ahead of the elections next year.